Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest, Senshi 19 in Varna, Bulgaria. And I am joined by another absolute legend. And I have to say, without sounding like a fanboy, one of my K1 kickboxing heroes. He's an absolute giant in real life, as well as having a giant personality, and is actually the only kickboxer in history, I believe, to have won five separate heavyweight tournaments. But enough about you, Semi Shield. It's <laughs> <laughs> and we always have thank a great you, time. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, But it's about these two guys yeah. in the ring here tonight. What an evening it's been, Semi. What about yeah. these fights? Absolutely fantastic. And I was giving credit to our matchmaker, Andrian uh, Dimitrov. The matchmaking has been brilliant tonight. So here we go with an 80 kilogram Senshi full contact fight. Once again, K1 style rules. And these guys both making their Senshi debut, which could affect their performance nerves wise. But let's see. We have the USA versus Morocco. And I have to say, you'll know this from being uh, uh, Dutch from Holland, the Moroccans produce some very good kickboxers. Yeah, for sure, yes, absolutely. In fact, you, yep. beat, you beat one of them up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Badahari, ladies and gentlemen. In <laughs> fact, there, there was two fights there. If you want to see something fantastic, get on YouTube and, and watch Semi Shield and Badahari. Those fights were absolutely incredible. And, uh, yeah, you have to watch both of them. Otherwise of course, they of only course. see the one I'm losing. Don't, don't just watch the first one. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, so far, so good, man. This is going, going great. They put on the fire right away. Yeah. Both of them looking to counter, but everything they're throwing, it's not one of these fast paced electric fights. They're throwing power shots with everything. Yeah. They look very, very stiff. So they're not flowing, they're not loose at the moment. Oh. And we've said it earlier, Semi, you know, you're in a three round fight, you haven't really got time to work out your range and timing. You've got to get straight into it. It's a very difficult one. Yeah, you need to, you need to get the first round. And that, that's, that's, that's a, that should be the strategy. Yeah, because then uh, you got the advantage and you, you have uh, the chance of losing the second round. Yeah, and your, your opponent, if you've got that first round in the bag, your opponent's yeah. got loads of catching up to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And in fact, that psychologically as well, yeah. if you know you're going into the second round down and you know you're chasing, it, that's huge pressure. Yeah. These guys are very, very strong. They both look in excellent condition. Strong knees there from Shakir from Morocco. Nice body shot there from Marino. Oh, again. <clears throat> I'm going to keep calling him Monero because I've been looking at crypto lately. <laughs> it wasn't a free advert for anybody, by the way. So they're tentative, looking to counter. Whoop, wow. That was lovely timing. It was a good timing, yes, Fantastic. for sure. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so. this one too. <laughs> he was trying, just at the end there, he was going to sweep again. So the end of the first round, a very difficult one to score. Um, it was backwards and forwards. I'm sure that that trip would have looked good in the judges' eyes, but that's only part of the round. I'm gonna have to give it on my card. Oh dear, to the blue corner, but by um, as the thinnest of margins. Are you gonna go out on a limb, Sammy? Uh, I, I have to, I, have, I, I think I have to go, but I think it's always very difficult to score the first round, you know, because yeah. Uh, it gives such an advantage if you got the first round, and then this but this one point is really big. I you know, agree it's completely. It's very agree. difficult, difficult to get uh, to get uh, back to that. And for the fighters, it makes it difficult, but the, for the spectators, it's increasing yeah, the yeah, drama. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm oh, sorry, absolutely. So, but that's why the second round is going to be more exciting. And one thing, one thing that really gets me is judges who score rounds 10-10 or some of them score it 9-9 because they yeah. don't understand the 10-point must system. But scoring a round, a no. draw, for me... But, but the, first, second round, the first and second round, this is not a must uh, point uh, system. Only the last round is the, uh, the must point. Uh -huh. the, but, the last round and the extra round. But, so ooh. then there can, it can be a draw. But would you ever score a round a draw? Unless they did absolutely nothing. No, but a 9-9 nine, nine round is, uh, yeah, then, then they work all, both. Yeah, I, I just... You know, th I you think a 10-9 round is a really convincing round. Right, but... And I especially for the first round, it needs to be really convincing. Okay. In, in my opinion. But that's why I'm a referee, not a judge. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Both these guys throwing everything with mean intentions. But single shots, yeah. neither of them throwing flo flowing combinations and finishing yeah. with a hard low kick. Nice knee there from Shakir. Yeah, nice low kick on the, on the back leg. Oh, that low kick just set him off balance there. It's backwards and forwards. Now, Marino is dropping his rear hand when he's on occasions. In fact, they're, in fact, they're both doing it. When they throw kicks, their hands are coming down. So they could be timed there. You could fake a kick and come home with a left hook. Man, this is very difficult to score in the judges' scorecards. It's so backwards and forwards, and they've both got equal power. Yeah. So the last 30 seconds of our second round. And it's one for one. One. There's a kick. Another kick, and we'll see another. We'll see the kick returned. No, actually. Marino there deciding to just tr try and take a breather. And Shakir with the better work rate. It looks like Marino's getting tired, Semi. Yeah. There we go, end of that second round. And, well, I think, you know, Ilyas Shakir from Morocco. His work rate in the second half of that second round was much better. And Marino looked like he was taking a breather. He looked tired and he looked to be resting. And you can't save yourself for the no. third and final round. It just no. doesn't work. No. And I was saying to Ernesto, you know, it's criminal. If you come here on a stage like this and don't give it 110%. Um, that, that's 100% sure. This is a big chance to show yourself. This is, a, this is really a big platform, and I think this is going to be the biggest platform, you know? So this is a good, a good stage yeah. to, to show yourself. We're on a journey somewhere to greatness for this event. But the thing that we're trying to bring back and instill that I feel that combat sports in general has lost is the true martial arts traditions, honor, respect, sportsmanship, and none of this vulgarity that we see on some American promotions. And others, in fact. Let's not just uh, pick on the Americans. There was a uh, no. <laughs> This is not so smart for him. Well... Well, I'm a former referee, and I always tend to get carried away and give my opinion of what I would have done. And I think he was definitely down then, and that kick wasn't being thrown as he went down. 
Is the referee going to take a point off? Yes. Very good decision by our referee. Peter Martin off there, right on top of the action. Yeah. And absolutely. That was a good call. And on top of that, he checked that the down fighter was okay before he went over and dealt with the with the um, with the foul. So that could fire up the fighters. It's fired up the fighters for a matter of fact. <laughs> it's really fireworks now in the room. Yes. But that kick could have changed everything. Yeah. And if he hadn't landed it, he downed his opponent, who may have had to have taken account. So, wow. Nice, nice left hook there from Shakira. So Marino in the latter part. Well, the second half of this round, third and final round, looking tired again. And Ilias Shakira coming forward as he did in the second round, being slung to the canvas. But Omar Marino blowing hard. Oh. And it appears that Ilias Shakir is getting stronger as the round goes on. Yeah, but he needs to go now. He can only win by knockout. Again, it's one for one, and even though Omar Marino is tired, he's coming back strong. 30 seconds left of this third and final round. Well, our referee here is giving Omar Marino time to recover, and fair play to Marino there. He didn't take advantage of that stoppage to have more of a breather than necessary. Nice combinations, but uh, turning into a slugfest. We've got 10 seconds left. We're going to see them go crazy, Sammy. They go crazy. Oh, nice sweep. That was nice. Even though he's tired, he's still got something in the bag. The fight's all over. That's three rounds. Fantastic action at 80 kilograms. Well. Man, I've been calling every fight up to now. And this one. I mean, well, well, well. What a fantastic debut for both fighters. Interesting. And as Nick Petter says, that was a fantastic debut for both fighters. Now, the point deduction is going to be a deciding factor. If that wasn't for the point deduction, I would be going for the red corner. And I don't know if you'd agree with that, Semi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a big round of applause for these two gentlemen. And we have the official scorecard from the judges. Fighters, please come to the center of the ring. May I introduce you to our special awards presentator, Mr. Albert Kraus. We have the first judge on 28 to 28. The second judge, 27 to 29 in favor of the red corner. Wait, wait. The third judge, <laughs> they thought 28 that was a to 28. Is it gonna be we a have a extension round. There we go. It is a draw. 
They've declared it a draw, Sammy. It's going to go to a fourth round. And I think, well, the blue corner, Omar Marino was very, very tired. He gave it everything in that third and final round. But he's got to pull it out of the bag here. And either fighter have still got the tools and the ability to win this fight. This fourth round gets judged on its own merits, ladies and gentlemen. So forget, for the time being, those first three rounds. Although the damage, the damage and, uh, and fatigue of both fighters do come into play in this fourth round. And Ilyas Shakir here, he's coming out looking very, very intense. And the interesting thing is that point deduction doesn't take it, it doesn't matter in this fourth round. It did in those third, those first three rounds, but this round is judged on its own merits. And Omar Marino here, he's tired, he's fatigued, but he's a real warrior. You can see that. Come on, guys, you've got it. We're coming up to two minutes left. Two minutes to show us who's got the biggest heart. Who wants it more? The referee there just feeling that that was a low blow. Yeah. Just giving Omar Marino a little bit of time to recover. You can see from these knees that both these guys are used to has a bit of Muay Thai. Yeah. Ooh. Now, interesting. Wow, Omar Marino getting a standing count, which is going to turn this round into a 10-8. <laughs> if Ilya Shakir continues with the pressure. Yeah, yeah. His elbow. <laughs> and yeah, he's put okay. him down with okay. that knee. It's to that floating rib, a sort of a liver shot, which really knocks the wind out of you. And if you're already fatigued and you're blowing, it's horrible. But Marino's up. He wants to finish the round. Less than a minute to go. And we really, we can already work out where Shakir is going to be aiming for. There's that knee again. Yeah. And Marino, he's still in the fight. But we're going to see Shakir shortly, 30 <laughs> seconds ago. We're going to see Shakir. Aim for that floating rib again with either a punch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, the other side. The That's three knockdowns. Yeah, in a round. Yeah. The fight oh, is yeah. over. Three knockdowns in one round. And what a shame for Omar Marino. But what a performance from Ilyas Shakir from Morocco. And really, those knees were so accurate, exactly in the right place. And he went either side. Yeah, the last one was on the plexus. Wow. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. So we don't go to the judges' scorecards. And here we see those knees again. And actually, the knees were so good that he was, he was landing them on the elbow of Marino. And they were still taking their toll. And really, it's so difficult to get your uh, wind back once you've had it knocked out of you like that. There was yeah. that left knee. It was on the, on, the, on the elbow, on his own elbow. And we have the winner from the red corner. Oh, in exactly as you said, right through the middle, Sammy. Wow, what a fight. You can't blink here at Senchi. And just so you know at home, ladies and gentlemen, Every fighter here who wins is considered a champion. Whether it's a title fight or not, that's why they're getting awarded a belt. 
because in Senshi eyes, if you come, you perform, you give it everything, you are a Senshi champion, regardless of the fight's stature, status. So Omar Marino leaves the ring here, disappointed, but he was a gallant <laughs> opponent and gave a great performance. And Ilya Shakir, look at those trophies. The belts designed and made in Japan, the finest quality. <laughs> you can't see this, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, Ernesto, who's coming in, ushering Semi Shilt away. Uh, thank you, Grant. Thanks, Sammy. It was Sammy. a great pleasure. i talk to you later. We'll see you soon, yeah. <laughs> and listen, guys, the, these legends have been in the game for years, decades, and they're still enjoying themselves. They've still got a passion, and they're still having fun. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen, and congratulations on our first winner by way of knockouts.